This is part two saying Jesus is not who he say he is. Y'all ready? We're just going to cut to the Okay, this is Matthew chapter 5. It says, I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for a cause of uh, fornication, cause her to commit adultery. So, that is fine. But y'all pay attention to this part. And whosoever shall marry her, that is divorce, committed adultery. I'm going to tell you why this is a problem. Now, this is Deuteronomy 23, 20 something, whatever. This is Deuteronomy. It's like when a man uh, marries a woman and finds that like she's not a virgin, he writes her a certificate of divorce, right? And then departs out of his house and marries another man. And then her latter husband hates her and writes a divorce, right? So, this is like violation like of the Torah. And, and y'all Christians say, oh, that's Jesus. He's the Messiah. He can do what he wants. Okay. If he's that particular prophet that Moses prophesied in Deuteronomy 18. Hold on. Let's get the scripture. Okay. So, God, Moses is talking. Talk about this particular prophet. He will put, like, it's going to be God's mouth. Like, God's words on the inside of him. And he is going to speak it. Read the one that is highlighted in green. And also, read what is highlighted in the verse 19 as well. It says, I will acquire it of him. And I feel like when it says require it of him, meaning like he's supposed to obey it. Right? Okay. Let's keep going on. This I think this is in Deuteronomy chapter 4. You see how it says, ye should not add to God's words or take away. And basically, Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, he's adding to his words, right? And then I also want to point out, he's becoming like a Pharisee, binding on heavy burden, grievous to bear, right? Okay. Yeah, this is Matthew 23. And I heard, um, what, what, Jesus is, was supposed to be a Pharisee. 